Hey everyone, it's November 10th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with serial killer William Henry Hance, who likely murdered four women in the late 1970s, and was a character featured in the Netflix TV series Mindhunter, and that is him right down there. Hance was born in 1951 in Lexington, Virginia, but not much has been reported about his early life. He joined the army and was initially stationed at Fort Benjamin Harrison in Indiana, where he's believed to have committed murder for the first time. A member of the 10th Artillery Unit, he was transferred to Fort Moore in Columbus, Georgia in 1977, which at the time was known as Fort Benning. In September of that year, a female soldier was found dead outside her barracks, having been beaten and run over multiple times, and perhaps even stood up against a tree that a car subsequently rammed into. It was clear that the body had been moved from where she was killed, but all investigators were able to find out was that she was known to date black men who she met in local bars, and that didn't exactly give them any suspects. In recent years, the community had been rocked by the actions of another serial killer, Carlton Gary, and you can scroll down to September 24th to learn more about him. On the day this body was found, Gary had killed his third victim, and it seems likely that investigators ignored this case in favor of that one. Racial tensions were at an all-time high in the community with the Klan active in the area, and a letter arrived at a police station in early 1978 claiming that a group of seven white men called the Forces of Evil had kidnapped a black woman and demanded ransom. It was written on military letterhead, but that was thought to be insignificant since anyone could easily acquire some. Four more letters were sent over the next few weeks, and they were at a loss as to whether they were a real group, and if so, if they'd actually done what they said. A phone call was placed in which the caller said their victim would soon be killed and that another woman had been kidnapped. An early FBI profiler advised the police that he believed the group was fictional and that a single black man was the culprit. In April, the body of the woman named in the first letter was found, and forensics pegged her demise as having occurred before any of the letters were written. She was a sex worker who was often seen with black servicemen, so they focused their investigative efforts on soldiers at the local base. Another victim was soon discovered, and she was also believed to have been killed before any of the letters or phone calls had been made. Military police went to a local bar and soon found that the women were associated with one pimp who pointed out Hans as having been with them both. When brought in for questioning, he confessed to killing all three women near the base and said he had written the letters to throw the police off his trail. He was found guilty of two murders in a military court and was sentenced to life in prison, which was later overturned due to the belief that he had a mental disability that made him incapable of premeditation. Hans then faced trial in a civil court for one murder where he was convicted and sentenced to death, despite psychiatrists testing his IQ as somewhere between 79 and 91. The death penalty was supposed to be a unanimous decision by a jury, but the lone black juror on an otherwise all-white panel later said that she'd been intimidated into going along with it, and that racial slurs were tossed around by her fellow jurors, which makes it seem like it wasn't exactly a fair trial. When the U.S. Supreme Court rejected his appeal in 1994, he was executed in George's electric chair. After his death, details about the first murder in Indiana were revealed, and investigators believe he killed the woman there, though it was never adjudicated to be the case since he was already dead. Hans was portrayed by Corey Allen in Season 2 of the TV series Mindhunter, which you can watch on Netflix. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so I can find out all about their birthday twin. And to William Henry Hans, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.